In this video, we'll take a closer look at the current state of AI in the AEC industry. With all the hype surrounding AI, it's easy to get swept up in the promise of revolutionary change. But the reality is often more nuanced. From design to construction, AI promises a future of efficiency and creativity. Let's break down what AI is actually doing in our field, and why it's far from the magic bullet it's hyped up to be. First, let's take a quick overview of the most popular machine learning models. It's important to know these models and understand their basic capabilities so we can later understand how they can be used in the AEC industry. Large language models. Imagine having a super intelligent conversationalist who can understand and respond to you naturally. That's what large language models are like. They're trained on huge data sets of text, enabling them to comprehend and generate language like humans. They're behind the scenes in various applications, such as chatbots, language translation, and content generation. One of the prominent examples is ChatGPT 3 and 4, developed by OpenAI, which can write articles, translate languages, and even generate code. Diffusion models. Think of diffusion models as creative geniuses who can dream up images and text from scratch. They work by gradually adding or removing noise from a random starting point until a coherent output emerges. They excel at generating high-quality images that look realistic and detailed, and they can also be used to modify or enhance existing images. Midjourney is a notable example that can create stunning images from text descriptions. Also DALL-E2 from OpenAI and Stable Diffusion. Evolutionary Solvers Inspired by the process of natural evolution, these models mimic how organisms adapt and improve over time. They start with a population of solutions and then iteratively refine them using techniques like mutation and selection. Evolutionary optimization models are particularly useful for complex tasks where finding an optimal solution is challenging, such as designing aircraft wings or optimizing supply chain networks. Evolutionary algorithms have been around for over 50 years. In case you didn't know, Autodesk Revit already has an evolutionary solver that can be set up in Revit Dynamo. Large Action Models for now, there is no proof of this being real, but a startup called Rabbit has proposed a large action model that is trained on your actions and can perform actions. After the release of Rabbit AI and the flop of the product, the proposed system, large action models still remains a great idea with no real product. The large language models and diffusion models are pre-trained on unimaginably huge datasets. In case of large language models, they are trained on text, and in case of diffusion models, they are trained on images. And it's important to know that for them to be as good as they are, the data sets and money spent on training are simply unreachable to any of the startups that are promising revolution in the AEC industry with their AI assistant. The systems I described before have to have gigantic training data, which only a few tech giants can acquire. Besides training data sets, the training process takes a huge amount of energy not to mention large GPU clusters. All in all, it requires a huge amount of money. That means that almost every small AI startup or AI add-in in Revit or any other AEC software uses AI models trained by one of the few tech giants. These tech giants train the models and then rent the AI model usage to everyone. This is done through an API, Application Programming Interface which basically means that my software talks to software provided by one of the tech giants. It means that all of those startups use some form of already available models and capabilities that these models provide. To my knowledge, there is no model that can add dimensions to your project or plan your house. Evolutionary algorithms are a different kind of approach. Unlike pre-trained models, they operate in an iterative loop continuously optimizing parameters to achieve the best possible outcome. This process, while slower, allows for greater precision and flexibility in modification. So, let's look at some startups and see what models with what functionality they use, and what exactly the AI does in their software. 
Sparkle and Hypar use the ChatGPT API to parse human input text and call predefined functions. In the Sparkle system, it is used to filter out specific elements, but in the Hypar system, it is used to model entire buildings. As of now, the Hypar system does not support this functionality, and the videos are from a previous version. My guess is that they are revamping the whole user interface to better implement this chat GPT functionality, so check them out later. Hypar is the best BIM AI system I have seen. It looks magical and almost like artificial general intelligence, or at least generative AI. But you have to understand that it is possible because of years of developing functions for parametric modeling they did before ChatGPT became public. Now they can use all of these parametric functions and call them one by one using the ChatGPT API. This is a great example of what basically are the limits of ChatGPT as of now. It has to have specific instructions on what functions to call in your software. And then based on the input text, it decides to call this or that function with specific parameters. Instead of you clicking on commands to arrange columns or data filters one by one, it reads your prompt and calls these commands in your place. Veras. Veras provides image generation, which is one of the more promising AI uses for the AEC industry as of right now. Image generation promises to replace manual visualization rendering and is already used in many offices. And Veras does that. It generates images using images from your 3D software as a source. Based on the image quality, it uses the stable diffusion model for image generation. It is good, but not the best, which, as of now, is Midjourney. However, Midjourney does not provide an API so Veris cannot interact with or use mid-journey services. Parametric.se, Finch 3D, and Spacho use evolutionary algorithms to generate optimal planning solutions. After the AI boom, companies tend to label everything as AI, even when there is no actual artificial intelligence involved in the process. As mentioned earlier, evolutionary algorithms have been around for quite some time and have recently gained more traction due to the AI boom. The biggest benefit compared to LLMs or image generation is that they offer greater precision. You can specify and control all the parameters that serve as the input and output of the algorithm. They are also deployable on a much smaller scale. I can run these algorithms on my PC. However, they are incredibly slow compared to LLMs, and they do not generate new data. Essentially, the algorithm selects the best variant from a limited data set based on given constraints. But in my opinion, because of their accuracy and control, these are the most suitable algorithms for the AAC industry as of now. AAC industry doesn't allow for mistakes or hallucinations in the result, which is inevitable when using large language models. Current problems with existing AIs and machine learning models. The main problem is the lack of accuracy in their results. Just look at these images I generated. By design, these models produce outcomes with a certain degree of uncertainty due to their reliance on probabilistic algorithms and training data that may not cover all possible scenarios. This inherent uncertainty means that the results are often approximations rather than exact representations, which can be problematic in fields that require a high level of detail and accuracy, such as architecture, engineering, and construction. This is especially critical when generating 3D models of buildings, where even minor inaccuracies can lead to significant structural issues or increased costs. A significant contributor to this inaccuracy is the phenomenon of hallucinations where AI systems generate information or outputs that are incorrect or nonsensical, yet presented as factual. When the image consists of uneven forms like plants and nature, we cannot differentiate these hallucinations. However, in the context of AEC 3D models, such hallucinations can result in design elements that are structurally unsound or violate building codes, leading to critical errors in planning and construction. 
However, these issues of accuracy and hallucinations are almost non-existent when using evolutionary optimization solvers. These solvers work by iteratively improving design solutions based on defined fitness criteria, such as structural integrity, cost efficiency, and compliance with regulations. By continuously selecting and refining the best performing solutions, evolutionary optimization minimizes errors and ensures that the final designs meet all necessary requirements. This method reduces the likelihood of nonsensical outputs because it operates within a controlled framework of optimization, rather than relying on pattern recognition from data, making it highly reliable for generating precise three-dimensional building models in the AEC industry. Furthermore, AI models often exhibit repetitiveness, limiting their ability to generate innovative architectural solutions. This issue is compounded by the quality of the datasets used for training. If the input data is flawed or biased, the output will inevitably be unreliable. There is a saying, garbage in, garbage out. Additionally, obtaining and labeling large amounts of data for model training is a considerable challenge. High quality annotated datasets are essential for training accurate AI models, but in the AEC industry, such data can be scarce, proprietary, or difficult to standardize. The process of collecting and labeling this data is time-consuming and resource-intensive, making it hard to achieve the volume needed for effective machine learning. These challenges highlight the need for more accurate models, diverse data sets, and algorithms capable of delivering more varied and precise results that align with the stringent requirements of 3D building design. AI will change the world and the way we work. Again, in the near future, a few years ahead, I think productivity will increase tremendously. Large action models, mentioned previously, will be developed for every software that involves manual inputs. This type of AI model seems very promising, especially inside AEC software like Autodesk Revit. I am 100% sure that, as we speak, Autodesk and other software companies are working on large action models that would predict user commands when they are working inside the software, thereby speeding up the modeling process. The generation of accurate 3D models, let's say inside Revit, will come last. As I already mentioned, accuracy is the main issue that still plagues generative AI models. We thought that creative jobs would be safe from AI and that human creativity was the last frontier AI would reach. The robots would come for our blue-collar workers, but creativity was supposed to be the one frontier that would fall last because it's the one feature that differentiates us from machines or animals. Oh boy, how wrong we were. As you are aware by now, today, after a year of the chat GPT and mid-journey explosion, the most threatened jobs are creative jobs. And for now, it seems that the safest job sectors are those involving more physical labor, the blue-collar jobs. What I want to say is that the future of technology is very hard to predict. I am almost certain that someday artificial general intelligence will design houses for us. But what that will be like... Is it going to be AI assistant architects? Or are we just going to write the specifications for what we need and pick the version we like? Is impossible to say. Until that day comes, keep an eye out for AI tools that boost your productivity. If you deny all the productivity boosts that AI brings to the table today, you are going to miss out tomorrow. Just like with BIM, and just like with CAD before BIM, and paper drafters before CAD. But if you are jumping headfirst into the AI craze, also beware of the false flags I mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and see you in the next video.